Hi, this is Dr. Moore with Uncivilized Vitality, and I want to talk a little bit about um, nourishment number two, or uh, eating on purpose. So uh, we talk a lot about the uh, benefits of proper nourishment and you know, a so-called proper diet and following that. And we do a lot with the, the members, especially on camping, to get rid of a lot of uh, myths or myth conceptions about uh, diets and nourishment without going uh, too far into the, like the, the, the biochemistry uh, so much so that everybody can understand that without having to sit through a bunch of uh, remedial classes on um, biochem or something. So one of the things I want to talk about today is your salt intake. Um, since the, the early 80s, we've been told that uh, too much salt intake causes high blood pressure, high blood pressure causes cardiovascular disease, uh, hypertension, and you can die from that. So people have been salt phobic for decades, and that's always been a huge mistake. Without getting into the chemistry too much, um, salts can mean a lot of things. People hear salt, they typically think of sodium chloride, table salt, uh, but there's lots of different types of salts. Um, what you need when we say salts is you need salt as a uh, source of electrolytes. An electrolyte is a substance, uh, a particle, a mineral, something in your body that carries an, a, an electric charge and not so much a, a charge, either a negative, negatively charged uh, ion, um, an anion, or a positively charged uh, cation. So an electrolyte like salt, sodium chloride, when it goes into your body, it's going to break into a, a sodium particle and a chloride particle separate and you get a positive charge and a negative charge so those are called electrolytes because you have uh, that has the ability to sort of um, conduct an electric current um, hopefully I'm not butchering this too much uh, getting the idea across but electrolytes are very important best source of electrolytes are going to be your, your salts um, especially your sea salts and your your um, although they are mainly iodine deficient uh, but you can get salt with iodine added. That's a very important uh, electrolyte or mineral that you need. And there are some minerals you need just in trace amounts. But your big electrolytes are like your sodium, your chloride, your potassium, your magnesium, uh, your bicarbonate, uh, calcium, um, those type of electrolytes. The normal recommended um, American government sponsored nutrition information with that stupid uh, food triangle or now the my plate uh, they're going to recommend you taking less than two grams of salt a day and that sounds like a lot a gram you really should be getting and this is for most people and this is not strictly individual medical advice this is general information between six and eight grams a day that's a lot of salt that doesn't mean uh, table salt and you should start frosting everything with salt especially if you're eating um, food products, things that come in boxes or, or bags or cans or freeze-dried, that stuff's got a lot of sodium in it, different types of sodium as preservative, different types of electrolytes. And that's what we mean when we say watch your salt intake is keep your sodium intake from uh, outbalancing the other, in, the other um, electrolytes you might take in, that you would get more in a natural diet by eating uh, animal products or drinking um, mineral waters. Um, not getting maybe all the dirt and soil off your vegetables when you eat them or your fruits. But since we have over sanitized and over civilized our diet, one of the things you're going to want to do is add salt back into your diet. Uh, a good cheap fix is just to put a little pile, a gram or two of sea salt, finely ground sea salt in your water bottle in the morning, shake it up, drink that. Add a little lemon, fresh squeezed lemon to that. Uh, somebody called that, I learned that years ago as a rehydrating fluid. Get up in the morning, two, three grams of sea salt with some lemon, and then um, drink that. I'm not going to go into the video here too much about um, the adverse effects of too much salt, like uh, edema and fluid retention. Typically, that passes. If you're going to increase your salt intake that much, uh, you might want to do that under the supervision of um, a physician um, or a nutritionist, at least. So... Uh, having said that, everybody needs more salt in their diet. There's lots of electrolyte providing drinks out there. Most of it's crap. Uh, we came, I rediscovered one recently, and it is, uh, hopefully that'll work, the Element or LMNT Element uh, product that uh, Rob Wolf, I believe, came up with. Uh, I saw this a uh, couple years ago in uh, Walmart. They, I, I don't know what I was doing in Walmart. We're walking through and they had... Uh, 
their electrolyte drink section and I saw these uh, elements there and immediately dismissed them because uh, I don't know how it sounds, but they're in Walmart. So I figured how good could they be? And there recently a patient of mine, friend of mine came to me and said, he's been uh, taking them because I recommended salt intake and he's feeling great and everything's um, doing well because electrolytes provide the, the needed um, minerals for muscular contraction, nervous system conduction, hydration, uh, communication with hormones. You have to have uh, the proper amount of electrolytes. Anyway, he started feeling uh, much better, more energetic, less lethargic, less muscle cramps. He seemed more clear headed uh, and he was doing one a day of these elements. So I went and looked back in them and saw, oh, they're associated with Rob Wolf, so they must be uh, at least worth taking a look at. So I looked in them more and they are awesome. This one is the citrus flavor. There's a thousand milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and looks like 60 milligrams of magnesium, which are uh, in good physiological ratios. One packet a day, uh, maybe two packs a day, three if you're super dehydrated or work out and sweat a lot. This will help rehydrate you. Um, getting enough salt intake is vital. So eating on purpose and taking in real foods will uh, benefit your health. And I'm just gonna go out, uh, just recommend these elements uh, from Rob Wolf. You can get these on Amazon or right from the Element uh, LMNT, uh site. I don't know what it is. Maybe Logan can look it up and do one of them fancy tags or something in the air here. So um, make sure you're getting enough salt. It'll help with a ton of different little things uh, that you might not even notice are uh, connected because you're lacking basic metabolic um, components such as your electrolytes that you get from salt. And uh, that's really it. I just want to talk about this element a little bit. Uh, there's lots of different flavors. There's a chocolate flavor, uh, which is not as bad as you'd think. There's watermelon, raspberry, there's a lime. For adventurous people, not me, um, there's like a chili mango and then there's like um, something else that's kind of spicy and fruity. I don't know why people enjoy that, but some people do. So uh, check out these elements if you're um, getting foot cramps at night or um, maybe speak with your, your, your doctor, your physician about maybe increasing your salt intake. Don't be surprised if they recommend against that because they, you know, that's just how they were, how they were trained and educated. Um, but uh, check that out for yourself, Elements by Rob Wolf. And if you like these little tidbits on eating on purpose and following the rest of the Uncivilized Vitality program, make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Like the video, share the channel, comment. Uh, what else are you supposed to do? I don't know, just check that out. Maybe check out uh, um, some of our events. We've got lots of events coming up this fall. Check out the calendar on uncivilizedvitality.com. And then um, if you're feeling donate get over to the uncivilizedlivingfoundation.org and check out the chapter and uh, help, us, uh, help us raise money to get people out camping that uh, otherwise wouldn't get the, the uh, enjoyment and the benefits of being outdoors. Okay, take care.